Welcome back to the off-road corner. In today's video, I'm gonna be making some changes to my DIY CNC plasma cutter. So they're not gonna be like huge changes, just some stuff I needed to fix. Um, first off being the drain for my pan. As you guys know in my past videos, uh, when I put in this gravity fill system, for the water. Uh, the pan doesn't actually drain completely. So what I'm going to add today is actually a sump for the water pan, which is just going to be this four inch piece of exhaust pipe. I'm going to use this four inch hole saw to then cut the drain out of it, weld this piece to the pan then weld that cutout with the shower drain into the bottom of that piece of exhaust tube. That way the whole pan will actually drain. So let's get started on that. Now we're just gonna cut a bigger hole. Slide this under. Line that up, give me a drill bit, and I got this piece of half inch OSB, there we go, now that should hold our four inch hole saw right over the center. Now we'll get to drilling our hole. Hey, Yeti! You know, if you have a choice to do this, do it with something more powerful than a cordless drill. That was a pain in the ass. Here we go. That should fit just like that now. And all this will go underneath the table like that. Okay, we got the sump all finished up, got the drain put back in it, and I ended up breaking this elbow, putting the pan back in. So that's fine, I ended up having another elbow anyways, and we were gonna shorten this. So that worked out perfect. So now we're gonna check to see if it's leaking. You can see right there where it's leaking coming out between this plastic ridge and the metal there. So I plan on actually emptying this back out again. So we'll fix that later. But right now I want to turn my attention to the other end of the machine. So I actually want to get this cart right here where the computer's at. I want to get that actually mounted to the plasma table. 
Now we're emptying it. See, let's see if this sump actually works how it's supposed to. <laughs> well, I think it's working. I mean, it'll always have a little bit of residual in it, but it's definitely more empty than it was before. Before, it would only drain to about one inch, maybe a half an inch in the bottom of the pan. We're already down to like an eighth of an inch. Cool. I'm happy with it. My next change to this machine is going to deal with this little cart. This cart houses the computer that drives the machine as well as this, the plasma cutter. So as you can see when I was moving this thing into this spot, it's pretty much got to be tethered to the machine itself. Otherwise, you'll end up stretching these wires, which is not good. So I need to figure out a way that I can fix this cart to this machine. And I think what I'm going to end up doing, adding a hinge point on this pillar here of the table. And we're going to pivot this cart in and out. So if you can imagine, it swings like this. Should be able to tuck the cart right underneath it. We'll move the shelf up four inches, come up with some kind of a hinge point over here, and this cart should be fixed to the table from now on.
All right, here we go. It's just free floating right here. I'm able to grab this handle, swing this around, and then, and then push it in. You know, something like that. It'll actually go all the way in, but I don't want to shove it all the way in yet. Hands down, one of the best upgrades I've made so far. It's kind of tough with having the machine out and having it on that cart. Because, you know, these cables you see right here, those get kind of stretched and pinched and stuff like that. Well, now that it's secured to the machine, I can zip tie those up to the crossbars now and don't have to worry about the wires ever getting pinched again. Pretty awesome though. I'm pretty excited. This this took a lot of brain power to do this. I'm not like the best fabricator in the world, but getting all these hinge points together and having it turn, I had my doubts of whether I could actually do it. But hey, it works. I'm gonna end up replacing that rod um, you know, so it's just like the other side. It'll have pins in it instead of just that full, you know, tube itself. And then we'll have to fully weld it up. I do have one more upgrade that I want to do, but it involves taking the pan back out, and I actually want to paint the pan before we actually install the next upgrade. So we'll work on that next. Like usual, I'm not prepared for this job, so I'll be pouring the paint onto the surface and then rolling it. This is the same paint I put on my bumper, so let's get to rolling.
So we got our new sump welded in. We've got the pan painted. We have the cart mounted to the actual plasma table itself. There's one last upgrade that I want to do and that is with the fluid that's actually in the pan itself. So doing a little research, I came across this stuff. This is Plasma Green 9010. Basically what it does is lower the pH level of water so that way it'll stop flash rusting basically anything that's in this pan. And kind of keep the rust at bay, you know. Now I painted the pan but I did not paint the slats. And I kind of just roughed them up. I knocked all the rust off of the slats. I don't really care about the slats. They can rust for all I care. We'll kind of take note of what it looks like now. And then we'll see if this uh, plasma green works as good as they say it's going to. You mix this 20 to 1. So 20 parts water, 1 part this. So in a 55 gallon drum, which I don't think I'll ever fill this tank up completely but 55 gallons gets me about two and three quarter gallons of this stuff so we'll start mixing that in I'm interested to see how this stuff works because with the regular water almost immediately this pan would flash rust anytime that I would let the water out of the out of the pan and go back into the barrel underneath so we'll see how this stuff works. I'll let you guys know for sure. see how this fluid uh, works out overall it's I left it in the pan probably for two weeks now and it's not showing any flash rusting or anything like that so I think it's actually working but only time will tell that's it I'd like to thank you guys for watching I'll catch you on the next one